on the pole outside the Spice 88. Then Kaz with Bleach. Here we go down out of four. It will be sharp into one. Bleach though with a power move on the outside. But up front it's Spice with another great move to steal the lead away and leave. Sharp back in third now. They all make it around the track cleanly on the lap one. Oh, there's some bumping going on there in turn three and four. They're able to make it around. Speech is able to maintain the lead. The 108 of Billy Bleach, though, on the inside, trying to take that lead away. He's looking for redemption after last week. Cars all over the track at the high side of two. And Bleach now challenging on the side of the Speech 88 car. Can't do that just yet. Tonante and B.J. Willard banging doors down into turn number one. They had them three wide, the 99 of Panunta, the 7-7 of B.J. Willard, and the 7-7-7 of Tyler McPherson. As they come around here, turns three and four, Speed still your leader over the 108 of Billy Bleach. Sharp in third, next turn fourth, and Kabori rounding out the top five. Tommy Flanagan got slowed up that time, and he will fall back to the clutches of the McPherson and Willard. Up front, just ahead of them, it's Panunte, but leading this race is still Don Spies. And look at Nick Cupolo gets real sideways in turn number three. Cupolo and the 2K of that there coming together a little bit, slowing up Cupolo just a little bit, but Cupolo finding the bite on the high side, and right behind him is Mr. Sage in the two. He's working his way through the field as Donnie Spies brings him down the front straight away. Yeah, watch Brian Sage. He's used to racing these tight, tight racetracks at Genesee and the likes of those places. He has the moves to get around these tight, tricky tracks. Spies and Bleach basically running away from the rest of the field. They got about a 30 car length lead over the four of Sharp sitting in third and Dykstra in the five. They're just going around turns one and two. Our leader is as third place cars just coming in as Spies takes them into turn three. You're right, Jim. Huge advantage for the leaders over the Sharp number four, which rides in third. Then you got Dykstra, Cupolo, Gabori with Sage challenging now as well. Current points lead to the five of Dykstra, maintaining that third position, unable to get by that four. Sharp, Sharp having a great run here tonight. Gabori now on the outside of Cupolo trying to take away fifth place. Our leaders are soon going to be amongst lap traffic as Mr. Gill and Brian Page sit there at the 43. Cars bumping and banging out of turn four with Knapp and Johnstone right in the mix. Zumpy and Cars, everybody's hung up together. But we got Wayne Caldwell the wrong way here in turn number four. Well, in um, the Sweeting Enterprises, Carl McQuillan power plant from the Rochester area, very strong power plant. Go green. All right, we're back on it here. Spies and Bleach will be the class of the field, but look it. They are side by side. Dykstra now able to get around sharp. So does Cupolo's 99. And here comes Sage up into the top five in that number two car. So Billy Bleach able to take away that lead from the 88 of Donnie Spies. But I don't think Spies is going to give up easily here. Bleach is going to see if he can pull away from the rest of the field. Current points leader Dave Dykstra up to third. Cupolo in fourth. Sage in the fifth as our leader makes his way around turns three and four. Ten laps completed as the yellow comes out. We got... The six of Dave Flanagan, and it looks to be possibly the big dog, Billy, Billy Gill in the 36. And Billy Gill in the 36. He's up to fourth. All right, the cars come up to speed down here in turn number four. And wow, you can barely hear yourself think when all 24 rip on by. Bleach, the leader, with Spies in the 88. 99, Sia Cupolo, Dykstra now, and look at Sage go to the outside, jumps the cushion, and that's going to cause him some problems. Going to take a couple of laps, he'll get the handle on that. I knew he'd be looking on the high side, or somebody would. Cupolo using it to his advantage, trying to get by the 88 of Donnie Spies. Bleach in the meanwhile, trying to pull away from the field as Dykstra sits in fourth in the battle now between Winfield and Sage for fifth. Yeah, that last lap throw at Adam didn't work for Page. Up front, still Bleach. Now Nicky Cupolo moves into second. 88 of Spies relegated back to third. Then it's Dykstra and Sage, your top five right now with 13 laps complete. Cupolo looking good here. He's using the high side of the track, as you can see, Clinton. He's taking the highway around. Little bump there, come out of one and two, doesn't slow him down now. He may be gaining on our leader, the 108 of Billy Bleach. I would say he is, Cupolo with a lot straighter line. 
through one and two, and the same thing off the four, but Bleach with that power under the hood, whips it back into turn number one, and pulls away to a two car length advantage again. So Bleach still our leader, bringing around turns three and four, this time by starter Barry Davidson, 15 laps down, 10 to go as the yellow comes out again here at the new Humberstone Speedway. We got the 64 of Sean Koss spun out on turn two, as well as another car I got identified at this time. And collapse here on that number six. To Nick Cooper's advantage, we are past the halfway mark, so it will be a single file restart. But so we're hoping that it's just a minor problem. I guarantee you we'll have it fixed for next week. And again, we apologize if we get ready to go green here on the restart, Clinton. Thanks, Jim, and we get on the loud pedal once again. It's Bleach with Cupolo in second. Down the back chute, they enter now. In third, still Spice. Look at Sage go to the outside in the number two, looking for some racing room. Well, I knew that the bite would be on the outside, and Tyler McPherson used it to his advantage last week, and Sage looking to use it to his advantage this week. Him and Cupolo come together there, throwing up a little mud. He goes high, now low. Cooper here will hold him at bay, but I don't think for long. All right, Sage working on the inside. Can't do nothing just yet with that 99C of Nicky Cupolo. Now he dives to the inside, but big pile up down here in turn number four. We got the 4JS Sharp, the 2K of Nap. It looks like we may have the 11Z in there also of Zumpy. So bringing out the yellow here as Clinton... Here we go. We're on it again. It's Bleach out in front. Nick Cupolo in second. Sage in third. Let's see if Sage has got some for these two top runners. Worked his way from the middle part of the pack. Now into the mix again. Sage trying to work underneath the 99 of Cupolo. Cupolo able to hold that bay. Sage trying to get that nose in there. Trying to set up the 99 that Cupolo keeps in the middle of the track. Able to hold that momentum over the two. The 108 of Billy Bleach takes him into turns three and four. Doug Spice with a collapsed front end of the 88 after contact with the Wayne Caldwell number one. And now Spice will have to nurse it back off the speedway surface. Cupolo mounting a challenge on Bleach. This will be five to go next time they cross the line. Cupolo looking on the outside for that extra bait and momentum over the 108. He's almost door panel the door panel with the 108 of Billy Bleach as yellow comes out on the track. Young Nick Cooper having a hell of a run there. And unfortunately, the yellow comes out. Mr. Debris making it up. All right, five laps for Cupolo, Sage, Spies, or Penante. Which one of the top five will it be? Bleach gets a great jump on the restart and gets out in front of the leaders. Sage looking to go around the outside and hit Cupolo. But Cupolo thinking about using the top as well. Sage shows the nose on the outside, now drops it back to the inside. Just like I thought, go high, go low, try to get the youngster. Didn't work though, Cupolo able to stay ahead of him. Billy Bleach able to pull away, but look at Cupolo coming around on the outside. He's looking to catch the 108, this time by with three to go. Now Cupolo looking on the outside, he'll try and power up, but be careful because that will lift open the door for the Sage number two. Sage down low, Cupolo up high, Cupolo able to keep the momentum going, look at him come down the back straight away. Now here's where Sage is going to jump on the inside of Cupolo and give him some fits, but Sage not enough to get the car right up inside yet. Cupolo now on the outside of Billy Bleach, two laps to go, Cupolo looking for his first feature whenever, he's on the outside, Billy Bleach on the inside. I think Cupolo's got one in us weekend, but never here, going to the outside, that 99 seed just past Bleach, high right and handsome, like the right flag. Right flag, Clinton as he comes around turns one and two, you get us in turn three. Sage going to the outside. He saw what Cupolo did to get around Bleach, and now Sage will try and push it in. Can't do it. Bleach and Sage will make contact, and it will be Cupolo taking the win. Another youngster shows us the future is good here at the new Humberstone. Fran, I think you're, oh, as the 7-7 seven, seven comes together there, young DJ Willard at the end there with the 20. 
coming together right here in the front straightaway. Fran, I think you're going to have to get me that list this year as last year of first-time winners here. At now we just have to wait for our demolition derby. Again, obviously, you've been apologizing for the technical difficulties we've been experiencing here today at the new Humberstone Speedway. As we get ready for the winner, the 99C of Nick Cupolo to make his way to victory lane. So the folks from Dane City Tavern down there in victory lane, and we thank them for presenting tonight's program. And Serena, Sherry, and Brittany down there, and they'll be making a presentation as well as $100 bonus from the Port Coburn, or the Sailor Sports, 50 to the winner, Nick Cupolo. Fifty dollars or twenty-five dollars to Billy Bleach and twenty-five dollars to Brian Sage. So we thank them very much for that. Nick going to do the Polish victory lap, I guess. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give him a big hand out there for our winner here. The 99C of Nick Cupolo captured a win last year at the Oswegan Speedway. Nick, quick little interview there. Unfortunately, we got some technicalities. They can't hear me in the stands, but we're saving it for the internet. Last year, you did have one feature win at the Oswegan Speedway, but it was a non-points race. It was after the dirt season was basically over, so today is actually your official first dirt win. Oh, it was just a good run. I found some bite on the top side. Uh, the track was nice and tacky tonight, and I got around Billy. Got around Billy. You made a great run. Coming from 10th position, made your way up to the front. Obviously, it's got it's a first for you being here tonight in Victory Lane, but the track came to you as the race went on. Yeah, uh, usually when it's dry, it's hard to get up there on the top and go around, but tonight it was nice. The track was good, and I got the first. <laughs> Congratulations, Nick. Let's give him a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. So Nick Cooper, second career victory, first here at the Humberston Speedway, the economy paving Best Western Karen Croft car number 99C. And well, and go ahead, it, Jim. It, it's funny that number 99 won the race, and the guy who won the bike has the last four digits 499. So it's 0388499. Oh, so we'll write that down on the board down here. Someone went for us. We're just going to write it on the board and then let them know? Yep. Repeat the number once again, please, Jim. Here, I'll get the number right here. Let's see it. Here, they want me to repeat it one more time. Sorry. Fran, the number is 0388499. They're going to write it down on the chalkboard and let them know. So, terrific job and great racing, but demolition derby still to come here at the Speedway. Here, we'll get an interview with Dad for the DVD. Absolutely. Come on, Thank Al. You. Just a couple of words. Hey, Mom's happy. Look at Mom. The uncle's happy. Paul, a, uh, his first official dirt win, actually, because last year he won the race, and it wasn't a dirt-sanctioned race, no time, uh, points title race. So, how do you feel? Kid had a great run tonight. Well, he wanted, said he wanted to win one before the year was over, so he got his win. So who picked the gearing tonight, you or him? Same setup we run all year. 
Same setup as all year, just a track came to you, obviously. Uh, great run for the kid here tonight. Very fast surface tonight here at the Speedway and did a terrific job in holding off Brian Sage and while well, keeping his concentration on Billy Bleach, so really earning it. The unofficial top five is Nick Coupo, your winner, Billy Bleach, Brian Sage, Don Speech with a fine fourth place finish and Greg Penante unofficially in fifth, so... Paul Gabori, Tom Flanagan, Dave Dykstra, Jim Johnstone, Dennis Giancola, your unofficial top ten. Jim, have they given you the lineup for the demo down there? I know the number 78, that's Rick.